Hello and welcome, this is me Corporal Lork and today I'm showing you how to add vehicles to your CryEngine 3 map and I'm doing this third video due to popular demand um, and I was specifically requested how to add vehicles to your map so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, map so let's just call it something simple and I'll see you soon when we get back to it Okay, uh, welcome back, and as you can see I've now got my uh, map which I can start to do and play around with. So, what you first want to do is add your vehicle. Now, the CryEngine 3 comes with some pre-made vehicles that you can use, so I'm going to go ahead and use them, but of course if you are good with, say, programs such as 3ds Max, which I don't own a copy of, um, so don't ask for things like that. Uh, or Blender, the open source stuff, which I'm still not good at, uh, or Maya, or anything like that for your game development. I will then, you can then basically follow these instructions once you've imported them, which will be not be co covered in this video. So, what you want to do, I'll start from the beginning, is that you should begin with a viewport like this, and you should have on the right the little menu lock here. So, if you don't have that by um, for any reason, you just go to View and Show All Up Bar. And if, if you've accidentally closed it, you just go to View, Show All Up Bar, and there you have it. So, first of all, let's go to to uh, find your vehicle. You want to go to Entity because vehicles are entity entities. Um, and then, as you can see, you've got multiple different options and of course since we're going for vehicles you want to click on the plus sign next to vehicles then when you've got to there you can have a small selection of vehicles you can choose from now default vehicle is no vehicle at all to my knowledge it's just a, a glowing orb uh, I could put it in if you want but as you can see it's just a, an orb and it is important for placing vehicles to have um, follow terrain and snap to object objects selected at the top otherwise you'll get some sort of errors so you might give that a go later on but I don't think it's actually anything important so back to entity we are going to add for example let's go for uh, well we'll add all of them I think we'll have to add a, add a military Humvee now as you can see we're not completely tied on so if we just adjust it it will it will um, fall about in bits but if it's like that it should be fine even though it might be slightly in hopefully that won't be much of a problem when we, when we come to play the map so let's add an Abrams so as you can see it's very simple almost identical to UDK in the way you just uh, click and drag your vehicles onto the map so let's now add I, w I, mean, I won't be able to put the speed rate on since there's no water so let's now put the final thing which is the massive great helicopter let's put it down one there yeah. so now we can simply play the game so control G oh, and you can now see uh, since there's no material here you get all these placards when you hit something um, but anyway, you can now see you've got all these pre-made vehicles in your game. Now this is perfectly suitable for anything that you're doing. I'm not sure what this is, but I can actually ride it, it seems. Uh, because F is the button you press to join things. Um, so yeah, for example, I'm going to go into the uh, Humvee. So here we are, you've now got vehicle in your map. So it's very useful if you have particularly long maps. Here there could be modern maps. But yeah. So basically, here you have your vehicles. Now of course as I said you can customise them and things, but um be sure when you're doing that to add the vehicle sounds you'd like and join them with the vehicle otherwise you'll get no sounds for example 
this Black Hawk it has no sounds and it's pretty, apart from the modelling, it's pretty barren of anything useful. Uh, I'm just using the mouse here to do the controlling, but you can always edit that. I presume I've never used major editing software for uh, modelling before. But yeah, um, so let's just land this helicopter. Control. Whoops. Um, control to descend. And I'm stuck in a helicopter. Um, that's a bit of misfortunate. Um, anyway, got good crashing scenery. Uh, that was a bit odd. I didn't like that. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's now go to the Abrams. Go inside. This is the one that is most fully equipped because you have the hard to hear um, but you have the machine gun and you do have the main gun but it is bugging a bit and I'm not quite sure why because I played I used it before and it wasn't bugging but anyway basically this is how you add your vehicles to the game blow them up like that. So, I think this is pretty much what I can show you. I hope it answers a couple of questions and things. Um, next video, I'll be showing how to add AI, as simple as it was here. Um, and you can configure them. So, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Actually, in fact, Never mind that, I will show you how to add AI. So let's just exit this. Let's set the lighting back to normal. Let's set it to that time. And then that's an AI. So all you have to do is simply, as before, let's go to here but click the AI button. And then you're going to have grunt. And make sure to select this button there and then put before you put them down and add another one and let's add civilian don't seem to exist so I'll just delete that um, you can have a wave of artificial intelligence put one behind there and you can have AI territory I'm not, I haven't actually explored AI territory before But it seems that you actually make a giant square. So, yeah, let's give it a go. It seems you make a, a, a cube where they patrol. This is right. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, so I'm just going to select somewhere else now. Um. So yeah, let's just click on something else. I don't know what I've done, but anyway. Um, so now we can just join the game. So Control G. Uh, you can now see that you have the artificial intelligence. They w they have a very limited range of seeing you sometimes. As you can see, it's not actually seen me yet. They don't seem to actually be doing anything, which is very disappointing. Maybe if I get rid of some stuff, I'll just delete that. Delete that. Control G. They should put out weapons, but they don't seem to be doing anything of the sort. So he's perfectly fine, it's getting back up and back to normal. Anyway, I will now show you a bit of a clip of AI, how they. I could have been lots of buckets. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, I'll now just cut to a bit of video of how AI should work on one of my maps that I've made. Okay. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very watching. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please uh, give suggestions for more different subjects I can cover. Remember, I'm not fantastic at it. Even though I have to look up tutorials and videos. That I try and put them into a much more user friendly form. Um, but yes, yeah, so.
please uh, come over and subscribe, check out my other videos, um, and yes, uh, watch out for me releasing a prototype of a game I'm developing. Um, I'm waiting for CryEngine to release their uh, update to allow you to make a standalone of a game, but until that's out, um, just keep giving me information of what you'd like to be covered. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and hit a goodbye and here comes the footage.